es el chamaco. Yo, yo. Este es el ritmo, eh. Yo me declaro con su. Dale, dale, chula, bompea. Que importa si eres linda o esta fea. Así es como se baila, tú escucha y chequea. Que se pegue en la cadera por la parte trasera. Que así es que se empieza la bellaquera. Que ahora bompea, 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 bompea. Hi, everybody. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, that was scary. Um, hi. Uh, today is a Halloween tutorial, obviously, because I would never wear this out unless it was Halloween. Um, yeah, so, uh, the theme for this Halloween costume is Dios de los Muertos. And, um, it's called, well, I mean, translated, it's Day of the Dead in Spanish, which is a Spanish holiday for, um, people celebrating deceased loved ones and that kind of thing. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do it, and, um, the only thing that's missing is a wig. Uh, I don't have a wig with me, or in my possession, as a matter of fact. So, um, yeah. The look would look more com- <laughs> The look would be more complete if I had a wig, and, yeah, that's- that's pretty much how you tie this whole thing together. If I had, like, long black hair, obviously I don't have long black hair. Anyways, now I'm going to show you how I accomplish this look. And you can switch up the colors if you want to. Um, I used pink and purple, and I uh, mixed colors on a piece of cardboard and just fooled around with it. And, um, yeah, this is what I came up with. So, let's go on with it. You are going to need a regular pencil, eyeliner pencil, some sponges, white base foundation, false eyelashes, and eyelash adhesive, Halloween makeup, tweezers, spirit gum, a spirit gum remover for afterwards, and some eyelash, I mean eyeshadow brushes, and a headband to put your hair back with, and some blush brushes, loose powder, um, purple powder, and just a regular piece of cardboard. Now I'm going to apply the foundation, the white base foundation all over. And I'm going to cover my mouth and my ears, but I'm going to leave um, a little circle of skin exposed around both of my eyes because I'm going to just uh, bleh. I'm just going to end up putting black there anyway. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to take out my earrings because I'm going to put makeup on them. On my ears, not on the earrings. <laughs> Now I'm going to use the spirit gum and I'm going to block out my eyebrows. And I'm just going to put that all over my brows. And then I'm going to use the back of the tweezers to flatten it out. And you want to repeat that motion until it gets sticky and hard. And then you want to do it to both eyebrows too. One on each side, obviously. And now I'm going to apply more... Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. More foundation on my ears and just eventually even it out. Now I'm going to wipe off just a little bit around my eyes to create kind of more of a symmetrical um, shape around both eyes. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but there you can see I've got that circle. And now I'm just going to draw where the line kind of ends with my pencil. You don't need to be like picky about it because you're just going to end up going over it anyway. And then I'm just going to draw those little loops around the circles. And then you can do that to both eyes. And now I'm just going to line inside of my eye and all around it with that black pencil. And then I'm going to take uh, an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take the black from that Halloween makeup kit and I'm just going to apply that on the entire inside of that circle. And then I'm just going to take a pointier edge brush and I'm going to get the very outer corner of the circle so I don't... Um, 
mess it up, I guess. This is more of a precision tool, so I can um, get the outside of the ring better without, like, you know, smudging anything. Just gotta make sure it's even. And then do it to both eyes on each side.